Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how to create a action of the type prompt template. So if you remember here in the previous tutorials, when we were talking about prompt builder, we created multiple prompt templates. Now you can associate your prompt templates with an action as well, with a custom action. So let's say right now your agent, which is this one uh, case related, and I've removed the other one. So I have this case related, and these are the different actions that are associated with this particular topic. Now let's say we get rid of everything and we want to create the summary record ourselves, the action, and then fetch case record action ourselves. So that way we are no longer dependent on the standard list of actions. This is just an example to show you how you can create a prompt template action type and uh, how these actions work. Right now, if I go over and delete all of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove each one of them from the topic and we're going to go ahead and get rid of them. Now it will not be able to fetch case details. Only thing this agent will be able to do will be to escalate the case. So we're going to go ahead and remove all this information. No summary is happening. Nothing is happening. So here if I say hi, now if I ask, can you provide me the case status? This agent will not be able to do it anymore because those actions are taken away from this agent. This, this agent has no longer a actions like query record or create the summary for the record. Those actions are taken away. So here if I say, can you provide me the case status for my case? Let's say what it says. Could you please provide the case ID or the case number so I can retrieve the details for you? Obviously, let's go and give the case number. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this case number here, 1029, and I'm gonna give this case number and uh, let's enter it. It is analyzing the request here. Please provide the case ID to escalate the case. See, it is asking me provide the case ID to escalate the case. It jumped over to the record ID and I don't have the case ID to escalate the case. I don't have it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put some random number. It cannot fetch the case. It looks like there was an error while trying to escalate the case. Please contact your Salesforce administrator or support team for further assistance. Is there anything I, I can help you with? Now. You have to understand this agent is fairly new. So it is still trying to acquire information, do its best. And we kind of taken away most of the actions from this particular topic. And it has left with only one thing, which is escalating the case. But moment you add other actions over here, moment you add other actions, it will be able to fetch the case record. It will be able to summarize the case record. It will be able to escalate the case record. It will be able to do all that based on the actions this has. So now let me go ahead and add a couple of actions here. So we are going to add uh, get record details, identify record by name, and then we will also do a summarize record. Let's say we add these three actions here. And now let's say we ask, we're going to go ahead and refresh this. So it gets the proper new context. We're going to go ahead and refresh it and we're going to say hi. And this time it will be able to fetch the case record because those actions, those tools are available to this agent. So here I'm going to say, can you provide me, me the summary of my case record? Now it is asking me, please provide the ID of the case record you would like to summarize. I don't have the case ID but I have the case number. Okay, so you're able to understand now. Please provide the case number and I remember this is our case number. Let's say we give 1028 this time and now it is able to figure out what topic it is question belongs to. Okay, what actions do I need to invoke and it can invoke multiple actions. So if you see here it is figuring out the request. So it's case related identify the record by the name. So based on this, it was able to identify the record. And then it invoked another action called summarize the record. Two actions have been called and these two actions are available to this agent. When these actions were not available to the agent, the agent could not answer the question. So that's why the actions play a very important role and those will define what kind of task your agent is able to perform. Now let's say, I want to get rid of all these different actions. I'm going to go ahead and go to the case related this topic action and we will remove this from the topic. We will remove this from the topic and we'll remove this from the topic. The only one is there is the custom action. 
Now what we want, we want to create our own summary template, right? If you remember in the previous tutorial, we created a case summary prompt template, which basically summarizes the case record. Let me show you one more time. So if I go over to the setup and we go to the prompt builder, we go to the prompt builder here and uh, under the prompt builder, we will click on the prompt that we created, which is the case summary. That is the prompt. And all it does it, it basically uses these fields and it summarizes the record for us. And it takes in the record. It could be any case number you want to provide and it summarizes that record for us. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom action corresponding to this template. So what I'll do is I'll go back, I'll go over here and go over to agent action. So we'll click on agent actions here. So we'll click on the agent actions click on new agent action. And this time I'm going to choose prompt template. What is the action here? I'm going to choose is case summary. I'm going to call this as case summary three. And then what does this action takes? So it creates a summary of the case record using essential details. That is the description. Now input is going to be the case record it will be the case record. And this case record will be passed another flow. Let's just say collect data from the user. No, you don't have to collect the data from the user. All you need is the record ID. Okay. The prompt responded by the action based on the specified prompt show in the conversation. Make sure you check this checkbox and hit finish. So I have created an action called case summary. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure if I go over here in the topic action, I'm going to add this case summary now and finish it. So now case summary is available over here, but the way to get the case is not there. How to get the case that particular information is not there and you can create either the custom action for it, or you can use out of the box standard actions. What I'm going to do is we are going to do the tougher one. We are going to create a custom action. And so I'll create another flow here, which is only going to fetch me the case record. And that case record is basically will be used by the summary of the record. That way my complete topic is made of custom actions and it will be able to do what I ask him to do. How do I do that? I'm going to show you in the next video. So I'll stay tuned for that. Thank you very much.